Hey YouTube, welcome to my new channel. So I've been wanting to start a YouTube channel for years and years. I've always loved YouTube, always watched YouTube. I've actually had this account since like, I don't know, quite a few years, but I never posted anything. So I always thought that to be successful on YouTube, you had to be like a really good video editor with like really good equipment. And then finally one day, very recently, I was like, what am I doing? I just need to start. So here I am, this is what I'm doing, I'm finally starting. So I live a bit of an unconventional life and I kind of figured for my very first vlog that I would do our travels from Maricopa, Arizona back up to Canada with our horses. Every winter we take our horses down to Maricopa, Arizona and it's normal in our part of the horse world but it's very unconventional I think in the real outlook of life if that makes sense. So I didn't really vlog the first day of our trip from Maricopa to New Mexico which was our first stop that night. I was just kind of uncomfortable. I'm still a noob. I'm still getting used to learning how to vlog and that what I should vlog and whatnot. I don't really start vlogging until the second day of our trip. So that's when you'll see a bit more of me explaining things. Our horses have been down in Arizona since November when Jeremy drove them down. Sometimes I drive down with them too, but this year I didn't. He drove down himself this year. It was beginning of April when we drove the horses back up to Canada. So they stay down for pretty much five months. That way Jeremy gets to stay down there and he ropes. We have rope horses, so he stays down there and ropes all winter at the World Series jackpot. He goes to the World Series finale in Vegas every December, so that's why we keep our horses down there. of our trip back home. We woke up in, it's either pronounced Socorro or Socorro. Anyway, we're in New Mexico and we stayed at the fairgrounds. We've never stayed here before. We just kind of found it by fluke and it was a great experience. There was already another horse trailer here uh, with a couple horses and the pens, but we did find some empty pens, which was nice. Always clean your pens, people. rest stop somewhere in New Mexico so we're almost to Santa Fe beautiful rest stop we really needed a second cup of coffee it's been a couple hours since we last spoke we'll hit the road again and we're trying to make it to Nebraska today Coffee break number three right now. Uh, we are stopped just on a rest area about like half an hour outside of Colorado, almost out of New Mexico at this point. It's pretty desolate, not much scenery, so I'd have to say the number one thing keeping us going is just lots of caffeine. And I didn't really sleep well last night, so this is gonna be probably a long day, but oh well, we'll find out. Our goal is to make it to Nebraska today. I love cinnamon in my coffee cinnamon and some form of like nut milk whether that is almond milk cashew milk or oat milk uh so right now it is oat milk we stopped at a whole food store before we left so kind of oh is it i'm drinking
is our last little daylight. We are just outside of Ogallala, Nebraska. Sun setting. It's, we're about an hour and a half away from our destination for tonight. And then we're hoping that we will get home by tomorrow night. Oh. So we made it to Stapleton, Nebraska tonight. I think we're about 11 hours away from home now. We just found uh, the Stapleton Rodeo Grounds. The gates were open, thank goodness. That's kind of one of the things about traveling long distance with horses is just finding a place to stay. Now, we don't always unload our horses off the trailer, but the reason we're actually trying to find a place to stay every night is because our horse Beaver foundered earlier this winter. So it's really important that he gets a chance to lay down if he wants and like just get that weight off his feet. Thank you Stapleton, Nebraska for having your rodeo grounds open. We will see you in the morning for the last leg of our trip. We just got home. I just got inside from letting Beaver and Walker out with the other horses. We have four horses here. Other than Beaver and Walker, we have Daisy, Joker, Rio, and Pepsi. Pepsi is a little stud colt, so we want him separated from Walker and Beaver. So Pepsi and Joker are actually together in their own pen right now. And Rio and Daisy were put with Beaver and Walker. They have known each other for years and years, so there's not much drama anymore when we reintroduce them. Okay, so what we did, we drove one of our vehicles to Minot, North Dakota. That's where we fly out of whenever we fly somewhere. We left our vehicle in Minot while we flew down to Mesa, Arizona. So we flew down on Thursday and then Friday morning, we just got our trailer all packed up, ready to go. We hit the road at about 12:45 in the afternoon on Friday. We got a really late start and that's why we didn't make it we didn't make it very far on Friday for that reason. So we got to Socorro, New Mexico at about 10:45 at night, I think it was. We ended up hitting the road at 6:45 a.m. and then we made it to Stapleton, Nebraska that night. I think we were done setting up our trailer and the horses and everything by like 9:45. Like we were in bed at 9:45 that night, which was perfect because we ended up waking up at 4 a.m. to a dead generator battery, which really upset Jeremy because he had just bought a brand new battery. So we don't know what's going on. Might be something to do with the alternator. We don't know. We need to get that figured out with the generator. So because we had a dead battery, I couldn't have my coffee, which I know is not a big deal, but to me it is. I couldn't really start my morning. So we both were like, well, we're awake. We may as well just hit the road. We loaded up the horses and yeah, we were on the road. I like 5 a.m. It was super, it was crazy early. It was pitch black out. We were on the road for like a couple hours before the sun rose. Made it to Valentine, Nebraska for coffee and breakfast. After Valentine, we entered South Dakota. That felt really quick. It only took us a few hours to drive through South Dakota. We went up to Minot to grab our vehicle. So that's when Jeremy and I departed ways. He dropped me off at the airport uh, so that I could drive our vehicle from the airport back up. Jeremy got stopped at the border with the horses, which is natural. It's normal to get stopped because they wanna check you over your health papers and whatnot for the horses. But it was kind of unusually long. It just took a really long time, way longer than normal. After the border, I think we got home at about six o'clock, 6.15, something like that. We have literally been living 
living in a truck and trailer for the past three days. We need to shower. We need to just relax and hang out. Our sleep schedule is totally whacked. Tomorrow morning, I have to go pick up our pets from boarding. So yeah, I'll pick them up tomorrow morning and then we'll start unpacking our trailer. That will probably be its own vlog, to be honest, because that is gonna be such a big job to get that trailer unpacked and get it cleaned up and ready for summer rodeo season. <laughs> so anyway, I am going to end the vlog here. And this was my very first YouTube vlog. I'm sorry that I didn't vlog the very first day. I didn't really know what I was doing yet. I didn't really know how to go about it. And I didn't really get comfortable with it until day two. That's why you're hearing a lot from me right now rather than earlier. I can't wait to make more YouTube videos. So thanks so much guys. And I will see you next time.